So reading off the screen, video request, Harley, can you please share your insights in a recent gay for pay, bogus POG debate, controversy, whatever. I know you can share some value insights. Can you please do a video on this? All right, I'll do a video on that first. Got to get some carbs in. Come back from arrive. We've got 15 bananas here, half a pound of organic sugar for the win. Carb up because the bananas in Australia right now a little bit low in the sugar values. The bricks value is a bit low, so I'm adding in the sugar. So we've got about half a pound of organic sugar in here. Sugar makes you fat, though, doesn't it? Sugar makes you fat. <laughs> mm. That is incredible. I'm just going to drink some of this. Hang on. I remember as a kid, I used to drink a lot of sweetened condensed milk. This is the original. This is the original sweetened condensed milk. Sugar and bananas. Fucking oath. About 500 grams of carbs. Two grams of fat, 500 carbs. All right, enough eating, let's get this video. Now, firstly, if you're gay, that's cool. I've got a lot of gay friends, nothing wrong with being gay. If you're on steroids, cool. Not cool for your health, but hey, I've got a lot of friends who do take steroids. And yes, a lot of them represent the gay community. It's a fact, if you, the recent Sydney Mardi Gras, you know, most of the best bodies in Sydney are from gay guys. Most of the guys on YouTube a gay, pumping iron and stuff. A lot of the viewers on these channels are gay. Nothing wrong with being gay. But we live in a society that stigmatizes the gay community. Now the reality is, majority of guys in the gym who look good are gay. Now that's gonna like stir up and shatter, shatter and rattle all the cages out there, but that's the truth. And we know, oh no, a guy's married. <laughs> I'm like, because <laughs> you're married with kids, means you're not gay. That's like saying because someone doesn't own a pool, they never go swimming. I mean, people really live in a fucking bubble, don't they? Especially on YouTube, you see a lot of viewers saying, oh, you shouldn't say that, you can't say that. And it's like, dude, it's the fucking truth. Doesn't mean it's wrong or it's bad, but it's the fucking truth. Wake the fuck up. How do a lot of people afford steroids when they're in college and shit? Gay prostitution, man. Gay for pay is a fucking huge industry. Think about it. If, if you're gay, there's nothing wrong with that. Let's say you're gay. You've got kids. You've got a wife. You've got a mortgage. And you want to, you know, you've got sexual needs. But you can't really have a, a relationship because, you know, that, with that brings responsibility. you already got enough responsibility in your plate with, you know, getting some gay guys, paying them cash. Then, you know, that's what you're paying your cash for. That's services. You know, it's so a gay for pay to afford roids and all that stuff. That is common as heck. Most of the guys in the gym, you go, hang on, look, what car are you driving? It's a piece of shit. Oh, you're doing like cycles of Trenace and Clan and Anavar and shit. Hang on, that's a lot of money. What's up with that human growth hormone? Doing cycles of that shit, man? That's a lot of coin. So when POG critiques Ogus, I think that's hypocritical. <laughs> it's like all the cyclists. They used to give Lance Armstrong shit. It's like, hang on, man. You're on the same fucking page. What the fuck are you talking about, man? <laughs> so it's like, how can you critique Lance when you're on the same... How can you critique Ogus when you're on the same page? And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. I respect individuals who are open about it. And say, hey, man, I'm on the juice. I'm gay. Cool with it. Whatever you want to think about me, fuck it. This is who I am. That's cool, man. You know, it's better to be, I say it's better to be hated for what you are than love for what you're not. So, again, this video is just my comments and criticisms. Nothing personal against anyone. Their choices, whatever. Just it's a reality out there. Most of the guys you see with the big muscles are on the juice. Most of the guys on the juice with the big muscles represent the gay community. Go to the Mardi Gras festivals. You'll see what I mean. You know? But hey. We live in a world where people want to live in this little fairy tale world and go, that guy's got big muscles because he has a lot of protein whey shakes and trains really hard. It's like, man, the dude's fucking juiced to the eyeballs and if he got off the juice, he'd shrink right the fuck down. Wake the fuck up. Understand we live in a crazy world that stigmatizes steroid use, stigmatizes gay relationships, man. So just understand that and don't criticize people and say, hey, I'm gay or hey, I'm on steroids or I took EPO, whatever. You know, that's because when you criticize people for doing that, then you're saying, hey, you should have kept the lie going, man, and I would have rewarded you for that. So when you punish people for telling the truth, that's when we really fuck up. We really fuck up, but that's the side of society we live in. I'm not saying it's right, but that's what we live in. So that's my comments and criticisms.
Post your comments down below. What do you think of the whole debacle? Let's come on out with it.